First brought you the story on the death of 14-year-old Seth Young Saturday. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is now with us in the studio. And Stefan, Seth touched so many lives just by being Seth. Yeah, that's right, Sherry. He was so loved that just three hours after he passed away, classmates, friends, relatives came together at a local church and leaned on the only thing they had left at that moment, their faith. Just hours after the crash. We walked in and every, it's already started because we were late. A memorial for a young man described as a bright and kind soul who had a smile that could charm anybody. And everyone was just sitting there crying. And then our principal got up and started talking, and he started crying. And then it was just very emotional. All this for Seth Young, a freshman at Glencoe High School who only had one week of this new journey under his belt. Our, my teacher was like, well, are we going to talk? And no one would say a word. And it was just all cries. We'd walk down the hallway. You would not hear a peep. All you'd hear is lockers closing and people whelping. That's all you could hear. Seth's locker decorated in memoriam. Outside of the school, messages of love on the doors and pavement and a reality check for students. They really see how sudden they could be taken away, you know, how they know why as parents stay on them and tell them we love them and tell them that, you know, be careful, be safe. Realizing this lesson, two of Seth's friends decided to turn their grief into a loving memory on a shirt. It's a white t-shirt and on the front it has a big cross. And in the writing, it's black and it has Seth Young under the cross. Many say he was such a positive kid and was even a prankster, just the typical teenage boy. It was just sad because everybody loved him. I don't think I need one person that didn't like him. Now, Seth's mother, Carrie, described as a very strong, she posted this status on Facebook saying, I'm in awe of how God is using my baby boy. Although my heart is forever broken, I rejoice at how God is moving. Now, all the proceeds from those T-shirts are being donated directly to the family. Nearly 200 of them have been pre-ordered since yesterday. We're live in the studio tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.